Hello and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal Daily News Show and Community Update. I'm your host, Frederic Rigolo. Today we have with us Franklin Tucker, the editor of the Belmontonian.com. Hi Franklin, how are you? Just fine, thank you. So today we the main topic it was your breaking news on Monday is that mask uh face masks are coming back or should might be. Well, it's not that there might be, it's just a continuation of, of masking in schools. The schools never stop masking. Now, what there was there was an idea that maybe there were when masks would not be needed for especially ch uh, children like in the older grades uh, in high school and mid middle school have been vaccinated. You know, there's a, a large percentage of those children who have been vaccinated. Uh, but we've gone through a what is called Delta a variant of the COVID-19, which is a very very strong strain of, of the uh, COVID virus, uh, coronavirus. So um, people have been asking the uh, uh, health director, uh, Wesley Chen, what, what the town is going to do about that, especially the schools, because many parents would decide whether they were going to have their children remotely educated or go back to school, depending on whether, whether the mask mandate would continue into the new year. So the Board of Health, which has responsibility to do any sort of health, uh, public health in town, uh, uh, um, uh, debated and discussed the issue. And uh, the, the three members uh, all were in unanimity in terms of making a, recommend, making a strong uh, recommendation, if not a requirement, for the schools to be masks. And, and, and they had many... Uh, reasons for that. Um, it's because the, the, the Delta variant is, is a, there's a lot of unknowns to it. I mean, we don't know how, how bad that is going to be for children, but we, we've heard, you know, incidentally, um, that uh, it does put a lot more children in, in the hospitals. You only need to look at states like Arkansas and Louisiana, where they are seeing uh, the number of, of children um, spike that are in, uh, in school, that are in hospital, that are being hospitalized. So um, uh, they all agreed that that would be an, a great idea to have masks. Um, uh, what it turned out is that um, uh, they decided to really just um, make a strong recommendation, not a requirement. Yes. And that would then be, now go to the school committee so they could debate. Um, so I have a question about that. So mm -hmm. what was a reason why they didn't choose to do a, requ a, a requirement? Because it has a lot to do with, uh, with, with honoring the jurisdiction of the school committee. You know, you don't want to impose things onto, onto other departments. You like them to have a discussion about it. But, you know, they, they, it sounded like more like what uh, Donna David had said is that they know what we're, what we're going to, being the school committee. They know what we want. So they're basically saying, look, you can discuss it, but if you don't, you know, if you dither and gather or, or whether what you're going to do with it, we're just going to we're just going to make a requirement. And in fact, they moved up their their uh, August date uh, uh, for their next meeting for their monthly meeting to discuss that to to make sure that there is enough time between the beginning of the school year and um, uh, beginning of the school year and 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 the day they decide what to do with masking. So um, and it'll be about four weeks. Um, you know, the, you know, you've heard, we, we heard from a lot of people, a lot of parents were in favor of a mandate. They said, you know, these are not, you know, the, the, these are, this should be done for, you know, basically for indoor activities, not for outdoor activities. Um, and they said, look, even if we do give you four weeks to, to, to know what's happening, you know, we want to we want to give a jump start to the schools. They have to decide how lunch is going to be done, and, and mm -hmm. how to how to you know what, what kind of bus routes will have to be changed, or how how you how you take a bus. So um, that's why they wanted to do it as quickly as they could. Now um, there, uh, there was one person who was uh, really um, disappointed with what was happening, and that was uh, Jamal Saha, who, who is the uh, school committee member. Uh, he basically said that he didn't understand why it was being discussed. You know, um, he believed that, um, you know, there should be a, a larger uh, conversation with more people in, in, in the community so they can have their say. But that didn't seem to really carry much weight with the, uh, with the board, of, board of Health. They wanted to do something that was going to protect the children. And what they were doing, and I think what you saw with some members, they were saying, look, 
There's a recommendation out there that's really good, and that is coming from the American Academy of Pediatrics. Yeah. They, they, they stated that uh, if you want to protect kids, mask them, you know, mask everybody. And that just seems to be an override. That seemed to be something that everybody could agree to because it's, it's number one, it's simple enough. It's been done before. And it's just a continuation of what, what the schools have done. And, you know, um, and I think, you know, when you, when you heard that, uh, I think there's, there's going to be, and there, there's going to be some uh, agreement around that when the, when the, when the uh, Department of Health um, uh, moves forward. But then again, you know, the state may come in, um, the, the, the state, whether it's the, uh, you know, the, the Board of Health or, or if it's uh, the, the uh, Department of Secondary Education, you know, they may come up with their own uh, ideas. But still, Belmont has, has, has the uh, ability to make stronger rules. And if, uh, if the state says it's up to this community, well, the community, the, well, the Department of Health is pretty strongly in favor of a mandate for masks. So, but they've also said, you know, after a couple of months, we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna review the data. We're gonna review what 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 the what the CDC and, and the state has to say about it, and it could be uh, that mandate could, could change um, uh, whenever they see um, um, whenever they see a trend going. Um, uh, where it's no longer needed, you know, they're not going to uh, take a specific number, or they're not going to make a, a specific roadmap of when they're going to, to end the mandate. They'll they'll know when it when when to do it, basically. Yeah. So they are playing by ear, I would say. Yes, a lot of that is playing by ear. Yeah. Um, and the select board is also talking about mask uh, about a possible mask order on on, on Monday. Uh, on Monday, so is, that, Monday is that meeting? also related to school, or is it another way? No, but this is, are, yeah. the select board has nothing to do with the schools. This would be only with like town um, property. Okay. Uh, I don't believe they have. The, I don't believe they have the ability to, to tell every employee in town that they have to have a uh, the, to be vaccinated this is not something that is in their pur purview i think that's another thing that the board of health has to do but there would they want to discuss it see if maybe masks are needed for uh like for town offices town hall home or building other places okay so the masks are uh, bound to be back yeah i thought we you know, you have to go back into your closet and find them again Hey, yes, yes, it looks like it is. So stay safe. And another meeting that is uh, coming up is on Tuesday. This one was fully so well, well um, advertised, I can say. And it's also a topic that we used to talk about here. It's about fuel tanks. So why people should go to that meeting? Well, this is a very interesting because it is under the direction of the board of select, uh, the select board. The select board and the uh, town administrator and, and other departments are basically going to hold a public meeting in which they're going to say that they're in which they're going to go through a lot of the work that they've done um, uh, after the uh, in, uh, well after um, town meeting rejected uh, yes. the. Uh, the, uh, the the changing the design, how, how yeah. the, the the underground the, taking out the underground tanks and putting above ground tanks. Now, I, what happened is during town meeting, uh, the town wasn't very specific. They did broad numbers. They said, "Well, we don't know how many people can would get insurance. We don't know how much this would cost and how much how much the tanks would be needed for the future." Well, now they've done the now they've done that homework and they've got now where they were doing it in round numbers. Now they're doing specific to the penny, basically, and they're going to say, "Okay, this is how much it costs. This is what how much insurance we can get, um, and uh, and this is the reasons why we would prefer one thing over another." Now, the, what they are going to prefer, of course, is above ground tanks. They want to get rid of the uh, underground because they see that uh, as a ticking time bomb, basically. So um, what they're what they're going to do is they're going to just, this is a part of, of of the public process where they're going to start to um, persuade people who were against the um, uh, measure uh, for above ground tanks and try to convince them to say look this is cost effective it's safe you know you don't have to worry about uh, things that uh, people were talking about you know certain things that uh, the advocates uh, against the uh, 
above ground tanks, they may have overreached. They may have said, look, oh, we're going to get rid of the uh, underground tanks, but we'll put new underground tanks in or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to they're going to show that, that that may not have been uh, actually um, what the town could do with the money. Uh, the town is doing this because they have the money. The money's there. You know, they 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 had they had the money that was but that was approved a year before. Yeah, so you know, but he wasn't enough. I that's think. right because yeah. there was uh, more money. You might see you, you might see some cost savings. You know, it might not be as I think what you're going to see is a lowering of the price, maybe uh, uh, putting it a little in a different place. You know, on the yard so it's far further away. It might be a situation where they're going to put out um, uh, uh, an olive leaf to those who 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 would, who would uh, an olive branch. Uh, for the people who would want to have an olive branch, that wanted to have a some kind of um, a mission that maybe it wasn't the best thing at the time, but we did our job this time, you know. And of course, this is going to come back, and it will be voted on in the November uh, special town meeting. Sounds good. Thank you, Franklin. So you can follow Franklin on um, Twitter, <laughs> YouTube, and Facebook. That's right. And on yes. thebalmontonian.com also. And uh, the Balmont Journal is taking a break for August, so we rely on you <laughs> to report. You, you, you are French, so you will take August off. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so so for, we have a last show tomorrow, and then we will go see you back in September. So thank you, Franklin, and, and see you soon. See you.